Hi, and welcome to the NX8 Noobs Corner. This tutorial is on primitives. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new part, and we're going to do this in inches. So when you click new, you're going to be presented with this window. We want to make sure that we're on model and the model tab. The units we're going to use, if you're a metric kind of person, go millimeters. If you want to go with inches, go with inches. So I'm going to go with inches. Pick where you want to save it. Uh, for me, I'm just going to save it on the desktop, and I'll just call it model. That's fine. Hit OK, and we're in the modeling part of NX. So we're going to create some primitives, and these are the first few things that you're going to work with. Uh, primitives are just quick and easy 3D models that you can pop in. There's block, cylinder, cone, and sphere. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start with block. Now you're presented with this little dialog window of making a uh, block. You can choose between uh, the origin and the edge lengths. So you have length, width, uh, height, or you can go two points, two little points on the screen, which I can show you. But we're going to start with origin. So it wants you to ask, uh, specify a point. You can pick the point here, and if you don't want to put it there, you know you can um, actually click this little point dialog button, click and you can type in where you want it. So I'll put it two by two by four. Put it right there. Hit OK and we'll make it four by two by six. And since there's no, no other uh, geometry in the way, we can't really do an operation, which I'll show you later. Um, Hit OK, and we now have a block. All right, now we have a block. Let's go ahead and insert something else. Let's go ahead and add a cylinder. So for a cylinder, it wants a point and a vector. A vector is a direction. So you have three directions. You can actually add more directions if you want um, by going to Insert, Datum Point, Datum Axis, and you can specify a direction. Or if you have some contour on a uh, face that's going in kind of an angular, angular direction, uh, you can choose the edge of that as your vector, so it will kind of create it off to that, you know, direction. So for the diameter, we're going to go 0 0.25. For its height, we're going to say 3 inches Boolean. We could try to unite it with this. Since there is a piece of geometry here, we can unite it, subtract it, or intersect. Um, I can show you what that looks like if it actually runs into it and it's not big enough so <laughs> I would probably have to make this the diameter of this more like a one maybe a four to show the result oh, yeah it's trying not big enough all right well we'll just not do that hit OK and there we are see oh okay it wasn't tall enough so uh, as you can see I got a uh, cylinder here um, if I did want to, I'd have to make this a lot taller. Uh, we'll say 10 inches, and we could try subtracting it. And this is what would happen. It would cut the little corner out. If uh, you were to unite it, they would both become one model. As you can see, there's no seam here between the two. Um, and you can also intersect, which will take the difference between the two, and that little piece there. But for now, I don't really want them to touch, so I'm going to go back to 4 and say none, hit OK, and there we go. So the, the next one we want to insert is a cone. And a cone is a cone. <laughs> um, you can specify the vector, the point. Uh, we'll, make, we'll put this over here so um, I can actually go uh, cursor location and just click somewhere if I want to. We'll stick it there. Uh, point so vector we can choose what direction let's make a face that direction and for the base diameter we'll say four for the top diameter zero we want it to come to a spike um, for the height we want let's say five and hit OK and there you have a nice little cone and the last primitive insert design feature will be a sphere a sphere also wants you to specify a point. This is where you're going to put these things. So we'll put it here. And it doesn't look like it's uh, 
There we go. Yeah. Hit OK. This doesn't really require a vector. Um, now, if you were doing an arc, you could select this as the circle, um, and it would try to build one around that. See? You could actually just add it to that, but that's not what we want to do. We're just going to go center point, specify a point and we're gonna say okay and we have a nice little sphere alright now that was the primitives tutorial um, now for some of the other uh, stuff I was gonna show you was on the block the two points in height since we now have some stuff to work with we could actually specify a point which it doesn't want to let me so I have to do it on endpoint and you can actually pick the endpoint of another object as a starting point and you can pick another point to try to build from we'll try the center of this and you can just hit OK and as you can see it went from this point as its height and its starting point here and it gave me a parameter to enter that height here as you can see I could have made it longer shorter whatever and then you have two diagonal points which might be a little strange so um, well let's see let's pick a point let's pick that same point and you'll see what kind of it puts the top right on one end and the bottom left on the back face on the other to build the uh, shape so um, there's many different options when creating primitives on how to build it. Um, you know, uh, depends on what you're building. Sometimes, you know, if you've got something that just needs to snap onto a, a piece of geometry quickly, you can select different options when creating primitives to put them together. Anyway, this has been a noob tutorial on pr primitives, and uh, keep following for uh, more tutorials coming your way. Uh, on more advanced features, but um, it should get you started on the path to NX. Thank you and bye-bye.